Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch account tutorial on how to use the Skyfire browser on your Android phone. Skyfire is free. It's available from the Android market. Here's the icon on my Droid Incredible. We'll tap that. Now, the first time you open it up, it asks you to accept their mobile terms of service. I've read them. You should. And tap Accept. What I really like about this is that it gives you a guided tour of the features so you'll know what's going on. Don't have to guess. So up there is a browser toolbar. Then down here below, down here, tap Next. Shows you here's what they call the Sky Bar, Video, Explore, and Share. We'll tap Next. Video gives you flash videos that aren't available with most browsers. We'll tap Next again. Explore gives you smart recommendations for related media content. If we tap next again, you get share with Facebook, Twitter, and other sites. And here you see this is the load pages button. Use it to change how pages are loaded. Tap next again. And when you do that, it's telling you to enjoy. You know, say close. And now you're in the default Skyfire page. You can scroll down and see that there are certain featured sites, New York Times, ESPN, Wired, and so on. If you tap the menu key, you'll get the three functions that will hit back. So this is Skyfire. Makes it easy. You can do a bookmark from here. Here, you can have multiple windows. So when you tap on that, you can say, new tab. If we tap on it again, you'll see we have multiple pages there. And you can have each one be a different site. When you're finished, you can either tap on the site or you can tap done and go back to your current site. So Skyfire has some cool features. You can tap this little arrow right here. And you can do forward, home, find on a page, select text, add a shortcut, look at the settings. Let's do that. And keep the screen on, enable video alerts, enable the toolbar, show the status bar, and more. So you can configure it to be the way you want it to be. And press back to go back to the web browser screen. So this is Skyfire Browser, and that's all there is to it. 